Today I'd like to do a video on MIG welding. For all those that are not sure if they want to get a welder or not sure if they can do it. I'm here to tell you that you can do it. So I'm going to just show you short and sweet how to MIG weld. And really in auto body work you only use spot welds or stitch welds. Uh, a few times on framework you'll run a bead. But most of the time you're spot welding or stitch welding. So all you have to do is turn on the machine, hold this at about a 45 degree angle, and you can put it right down on the work, or, you know, I like to hold it sometimes with my thumb, or you can hold it like this. So, just basic, if you want to, you just put it at a 45 degree angle and pull the trigger. So here we go, 45 degree angle, pull the trigger. And that's it. 45 degree angle, pull the trigger. 45 degree angle, pull the trigger. And that's it. Now, what I'll do is I'll show you the settings that I have it on uh, so that you can see exactly what this little welder looks like. So now I'd like to uh, show you a little bit about the settings that I use and which kind of welder I use. First of all, we'll start with the tip. I like to have the gas shield out about a quarter of an inch from the uh, wire tip. And let me pull this off so you can see what's in there. So the wire, the wire comes out of that little tip right there. But I like to have this tip, this shield, out about a quarter of an inch. So that's the first important thing. And we'll put this back on. Okay, and then let me uh, show you the welder and those settings. So the welder that I use is a Miller. And this one's a Miller Matic 90. And it's 110 volts. And it's everything that I've ever needed for auto body work. It does sheet metal. It welds frames. Uh, you know, everything but the engine block. So this is all you need in your garage. Um, so for sheet metal, uh, for automotive sheet metal, I use the settings either one or two. And the wire feed I usually keep at 40. It's set at 40. So if I'm blowing holes, I set it back to one. If it's welding fine, I uh, use two. If I'm doing framework, uh, probably three and I rarely ever use four. So probably, uh, no, I don't think I can remember using four. So sheet metal one and two, frames three and four. So it, those are the settings for that. And the gas, I just followed the instructions when I got the welder. I don't even know what the gas is set at. So again, this is all I've ever needed for auto body. And I'm gonna make a couple more films on uh, doing stitch welds, running a bead, and those things. But today, I just wanted to assure you that if you want to get into MIG welding, you can do it. I hope you enjoyed this video on, on the very basics of MIG welding. Um, and if you did, and you'd like to see my latest videos, don't forget to subscribe.